It's back to the drawing board for the Riverside Discovery Center as their newly hired executive director is no longer with the zoo. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me in our top story. Just weeks after accepting the top position at the Riverside Discovery Center, the Board of Directors and Hawk Buckman have parted ways. Earlier this month, it was announced that Buckman had been promoted from interim director to assume the post in a permanent basis. On Thursday, Board President Taylor Kopis confirmed that Hawk Buckman is no longer associated with the zoo. He said during his brief employment, it became clear that his skill set and leadership style were not a match for the facility. Kopis says as they restart their executive director search, they plan to keep the animals and staff as the number one priority and hopefully find the right candidates that will allow RDC to continue to thrive. Well, the pool of candidates to become the next WNCC president has been narrowed down to nine by the Western Community College Area Presidential Search Advisory Committee. That panel met Wednesday morning for a second time, considering qualifications of the 42 individuals from across the country who submitted their names for the top administrative post at the college. Dr. Angela Provart with the search advisory company The Poly Group said the goal is to now get to know the semifinalists better. Some of these people you may say, well, I didn't see their experience in X or Y. Um, and that's certainly something that we can learn in that interview. Or I had a question about why, you know, something was going on in their career. Or they made this move. That's what the interview would be for, is to learn that. So just keep that in mind. It's sometimes a little less pressure if you think about, okay, I'm identifying, we're identifying people we want to learn more about, rather than someone who we're going to hire, you know, right this very minute. Those interviews by committee will take place virtually next month to be followed by a process that would end with a list of unranked finalists being forwarded to the Board of Governors for consideration. The board will then decide which candidates will be invited for campus visits and in-person interviews. We'll have more news right after this. Swipe right, swipe left, endlessly searching. Finding the perfect match isn't always perfect, but it can be when it comes to finances. Nora found the perfect business loan. Jenny opened her first savings account. Grammy loves her checking account. We found a match for Wilson Farms. The Sandersons were matched with a mortgage. Regardless of your financial situation, Platte Valley Bank will match you with the perfect solution. Find your match at Platte Valley Bank. Life Care promises us that we are looked after and taken care of properly. If I didn't have Life Care, I would be probably scared to death about having enough money uh, for when I got older or when I got sick. Moving in here was uh an easy decision and in fact a, a no-brainer. I looked at it as actually buying long-term care insurance and in retrospect uh, a good move. One of the things that convinces me that we did the right thing is no matter what happens we will constantly be taken care of. The whole thing is is just vital because you don't have to be worried about what's ahead for you. It's there, it's in black and white, and that's reassuring. This is home, it has been, uh, from the day I moved in. Welcome back. One of the three men arrested in an NSP traffic stop that resulted in the discovery of stolen firearms and drugs has been sentenced. Back in September, 27-year-old DeAndre Harris of Kansas City was pulled over in Cheyenne County for speeding, and troopers located two stolen handguns, suspected MDMA pills, and marijuana. This week, Harris was sentenced to just five days in jail after he pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor charge of attempted possession of a controlled substance. The passengers in the vehicle, 21-year-old Linford Garrett and 60-year-old Leonard Killebrew, are still facing felony charges in Cheyenne County and will be back in court in the coming weeks as their cases progress through the court system. 
Well, Nebraska Governor Jim Pillen joined members of law enforcement and representatives with the State Law Enforcement Bargaining Council this week to sign a historic contract agreement. Provisions of the new contract include the largest pay increase for troopers in 20 years, enhanced pay for troopers with specialty assignments, and incentives to help troopers be better trained and equipped. Pillen says this new agreement shows the state's commitment to law enforcement, while NSP Colonel John Bolduc adding that this agreement not only honors the tremendous work done by our troopers and investigators across Nebraska, but it also positions the agency well to recruit the next generation of troopers to serve the state. And in spite of a number of winter storms, or perhaps because of them, the January traffic fatality count this year came in at its lowest in five years, matching the same monthly figure from 2019. State transportation officials say eight people lost their lives in eight separate crashes last month, compared to 26 fatalities for the same period last year and 24 two years ago. NDOT says one of the fatalities was a bicyclist, Six were in rural locations with populations of less than 5,000, and none of them happened on the interstate. Four of the seven vehicle occupants who died were not wearing seatbelts, and restraint usage by the other three were marked as unknown. Welcome to Kelly's. Home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor. If you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. At the recent Nebraska Dry Bean Growers Annual Bean Day, Jin Chao, Nebraska Extension Water and Irrigation Management Specialist, presented on water sensors and understanding the readings. Chow says there are basic concepts to understanding the sensor numbers. What really does the number mean, uh, except it can help you capture irrigation events, rainfall events, but what does it really mean? Does it mean you're over-irrigating or under-irrigating? Um, those type of things, I think, um, needs to be addressed. Chow says last year, since it was so dry and hot, they did record some information from the sensors. What we did found was uh, center pivot irrigated field. Um, um, I think um, most growers use soil water uh, at ver very shallow uh, root level, like one foot depth. But there is water um, at uh, two feet deep or even deeper. So with proper irrigation management, you can have your root system deeper, which will be more resilient uh, during a very hot season, just like we had in last year. Um, that's what we saw, but that's um, probably not a research result, but just what we observed the last year. Farmers will be getting their sensors ready for this season, as even with our recent snows, much of the panhandle in eastern Wyoming remain in moderate to extreme drought conditions.
Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Let's take a peek at what's happening on your weekend community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the people you know and trust. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you plan for tomorrow while you enjoy today. Our personalized trust services can help you do just that. You've worked hard to build your legacy, and you want to make sure that gets passed on for generations to come. We offer the professional guidance necessary to ensure that happens. According to your wishes, we pride ourselves in being friendly and professional while offering a highly tailored full line of trust and estate planning services to accommodate you. You belong here. And finally tonight, following a public hearing on the request this week, the Gehring City Council gave approval to a redevelopment plan that would provide about $107,000 in TIF financing for an expansion of BNC Steel. CD engineer Annie Folk described the scope of the plans for the company with a new 10,000 square foot warehouse on the west side of their current location. This would allow them to move some of their operations into there and some of their retail business, I believe, into there and add four to five full-time employees. So what they're looking at is that if they were to do so, they would increase the valuation of the property by $348,177 is what they're estimating. Said site improvements would include new water and sewer lines, a hydrant for fire protection, and a sidewalk along 10th Street which meets the city's plan for that corridor. Well, that is it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.